Reading your script while looking at the camera is not an easy job. At this moment, I'm not looking at the camera at all, and no, I'm not using a teleprompter either. Instead, a free program from Nvidia helps me repose my gaze. Here, join me with this phone, which is recording the evidence that right now I'm looking at my screen, reading my pre-written script word by word. By the way, this dark object is my webcam. So this computer program does me a huge favor in doing my vocal recording. I could keep eye contact with my audiences while looking at my script, so I don't have to memorize anything. Before using this AI technology, I had to do around twenty takes to record a good sub-minute opening. Now with this new technique, in less than three takes, I can make a good recording by just reading my pre-written script out loud. I repose my gaze later, so the audiences thought I was looking at them. And today, I'm going to teach you how to download and run this program, so you can do the same thing to record your script more efficiently. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we proceed to the stage to convert the file, or you know, to do the gaze redirection. We need to download two stuff. So the first stuff to download is a source code from the GitHub、uh, website. You copy paste the first link. By the way, you can find these lines in the description of the video. So you go to the description of this video. You copy paste the first link. Okay. You open a browser. You copy paste that to the to the address bar, and then it will start downloading the、uh, code base automatically. Now the trigger thing to download is this link. So you copy and paste the second link. Ah,、uh, sorry, you just copy the second link. You paste it onto the address bar of Chrome browser. And after getting it, you will see that there's a sign button. Ah,、uh, so just sign. Continue. I already have an account. If you don't have one, you can just register. It's free. You don't need to provide any, you know, specification, any privilege, any certificate to, you know, get registered. After once you finish register, you sign in. You should be able to see there's a zip file here. So you just click the zip file, and as you see, it automatically starts downloading this zip file. However, I'm not gonna download this 1.7 gigabyte file in front of you guys because I've already downloaded it and put it on my desktop. So let's proceed. Now, open the first downloaded file, the one from the GitHub, with a file explorer. Awesome. So, double-click the folder you saw, and these are the source code that this GitHub、uh, sample used to perform to you how to use the AI SDK from Nvidia website. Let's go back to the last level and just drag this thing directly to the desktop or any other places you want to drag. After the unpacking. You will see a folder, a new folder on this desktop. You can see the name is chaotic. So let's just rename this folder to gaze, since we are doing redirection on our gaze. And then we right-click on the second downloaded zip file. We open that with a Windows Explorer two, and you will see there's a you know bin folder at the top of the directory. You don't need to drag the whole thing. Just open the gaze folder we just unpacked, put it aside, and then now you just drag this bin folder to the gaze folder. Okay, so to the gaze folder, drag it, place here. Awesome, the unpackage finished. Now,、um, open the zip. Sorry, close the zip file. Windows Explorers. Only leave the gaze folder opened. Let's click the samples folder, and then click gaze redirect folder. In this directory, you will see that there's a run, there's a file called run or run dot bat. If you enable display of the ex extension file name, it, it could be called、uh, so it could be called run dot bat or just run.、Um, let's open a new Notepad, and now drag run or run dot bat directly to this Notepad. And you will see there are three nines. Now,、um, we're gonna remove the every single nine 
So if you don't know what they mean, it doesn't matter. Here, this is a, there are four nines uh, according to my instruction to, you know, place in this run.bat file. You can also find these four nines in the description of this video. So copy and paste this four nine, copy these four nines and paste this in the run, you know, run.bat, a notepad and click file, click save, or just simply do control S to save. The last thing uh, you want to do is go back to this case redirector folder. You drag this, you drag your pre-recorded uh, video, or you can drag my uh, pre-recorded video to, to test the uh, post uh, redirection. Um, here I, I have uh, pre-record a video uh, that's 21 seconds long of me uh, reading a poem from Poetry Foundation. So double click it and you let's see the content. A man can hold a woman, can't stand to lose her to the heart's wreckage. His body will fall apart one day. A rock perhaps chases drift clean by sea gurus. A deadline go to seed. Okay, I don't know why I'm reading this stuff. Uh, let's stop wasting time on poetry and just complete this video. Yeah, let's just complete this video. Watching myself reading poetry so unprofessionally is also killing me. Now we can just drag your the desired gaze gaze repose video. So the video you want to do the gaze re repose, drag it directly to the gaze redirect folder. Um, let's right click on this file to see like what's its file type. So what's its file extension? It's a MOV file. Okay, so copy paste. Uh, sorry, copy the file name first. Come back to this run a notepad. Put it directly after dash dash in equal sign. No space. Don't put a space after the equal sign. Just directly paste the file name um, after the equal sign of the last line. And then we also want to type the its uh, file extension name uh, followed by a dot. So yeah. Here's a brief explanation about what this four uh, magical nines talking about. So let's begin with the last line. The last line say run gaze redirect dot executable. So gaze redirect dot exe is just this guy here. Okay. Now uh, there are a few arguments we pass through it dash dash offline mode, which means instead of connecting to a external webcam, you uh, go consume some internal resource, some internal files to do the conversion. Dash dash split screen view equals false means that uh, I'm not going to do a uh, split screen view of both original video and uh, redirected output. I only want the redirected output. Okay, unless you want them side by side, you pass this uh, argument. And then the last thing is about like where where is the input file? So the input file is in the same directory. So you don't have a file location name here. And then the file name is called readinggb.mov. So great. And what's the second and the third line talking about? Basically, when gaze redirect executable is running, it will consume some environmental variables for where is the where is the uh, OpenCV library and where's the NVIDIA AR SDK library. In addition, he also needs to know the model directory, the NVIDIA AR model directory in order to perform the neural network um, gaze redirection on your video. And the first line say set local. I don't know what that, what that means because I do most system programming on Mac operating system or Linux. For me, this set local it's just some sort of a uh, Windows garbage. So yeah, make sure you click save after you modify the, each time you modify this run.bat file, okay? And now click on Windows start button, type in CMD, a uh, command prompt will pop out. Let's increase the font size so you, it's more readable. Um, type CD space. And then go back to the gaze redirect folder, click uh, level up, and then drag the gaze redirect folder directly to the command prompt. Come back to command prompt, click enter. And now 
the command prompt is inside the gaze redirect folder. So now you can run the bat file or the batch file we just edited. Just simply type in run dot bat. Okay. Press enter. And now let's wait. The conversion or the gaze redirection is already finished. So where is the output video? It's actually under the same directory of the input video. So go back to gaze redirect. There's a file called there's a new video file called reading gb underscore gaze. So that's the fixed the gaze repost file. Double click it. You will see now I'm looking at the camera the whole time. Okay, so you also you might also notice that the audio is missing after the output. Um it's it's easy to fix. You just need to open DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premium or After Effect or Final Cut Pro. Drag both files to that uh, video editing software. Use one as audio and use another as a video. And then the problem is solved. I'm not going to show you how to do that here because that's another topic. And that tutorial should be super easy to find. Here are some tips on using this program. First of all, if you are not a programmer, please follow the steps I just presented. If you missed any details, it is likely that the program will not run. Of course, if you still can't apply gaze redirection on your video according to what I've said, please put your questions in the comment section so I can reply to them. Secondly, please don't apply any post-processing on the video such as filters, smooth skin, and color regrading before performing the gaze redirection. NVIDIA Gaze Redirect uses the color gradient of each frame of the video to determine the orientation of the speaker's face and eyes. After post-processing, these pixels will be modified and much of the information captured by your camera will be distorted, which will increase the difficulty for the NVIDIA SDK tool to apply gaze redirection. You can first do gaze redirection on the original film and then send the processed video to post-production. Third, NVIDIA's gaze redirect has loose requirements on the camera environment. Even if your photo is stuck in some places or you are not in the middle of the image or something blocks a certain part of your face or your video itself is an oil painting, it can still easily alter the orientation of the eyes so they are looking towards the camera or the audience. Lastly, NVIDIA has only announced their SDK tools on Windows and Linux platforms. Therefore, for Mac users, you probably can't run this gaze redirect program at this moment. In addition, even though this tutorial is mainly for the Windows system, I believe the Linux users can figure out how to run this program on Linux by themselves. Here's a funny fact. By the date I made this video, NVIDIA's six month ago demo of magazine project, which is the official brand name of this AI SDK tools, has less than 22,000 views on YouTube. That's low compared to other new tech announcements, which are not as exciting. I believe that one reason why so many YouTubers are still sticking to memorizing scripts or teleprompter and not knowing this gaze redirection software is because NVIDIA didn't even pitch to them but rather NVIDIA chose video conference takers as their target audience, which I believe is a dumb idea. Even though there are much more video conference users than YouTubers or other vocal hosts, we YouTubers are craving more for this technology because it just boosts our productivity so much. Big tech companies like NVIDIA might have already come up with these amazing AI tools, but they just haven't found their first customers yet, which I believe contributes as a factor to this. As a software engineer, I haven't paid attention to AI technology for about two or three years. And recently, due to the birth of a series of AI painting tools such as Stable Diffusion, I feel how fast AI has progressed in recent years. And you know what? The faces in previous sections of the video are generated by this Stable Diffusion from my description in merely words. Even though just one gaze computer program might not be sufficient to convince people how soon AI will play a much bigger role in our professional careers, I strongly believe these new AI models will soon become game changers in many industries. I know this sounds scary, 
But don't you worry, this is the reason why I set up this channel so people not familiar with the AI zone can use me as a bridge or window to understand what's going on in the near future. I will share discoveries from my AI journey in this channel. My main target audience are entry-level programmers or people who just don't know anything about programming. Someday the content I, pro I post here might develop your new passion or even your new business idea. Now join me to welcome the new era by subscribing and thank you for watching.